this is just a quick video to discuss an experience I had the other day yeah, shopping in Britain, which highlights how ridiculous and unfair some of our laws are. So I was trying to purchase an item that was above the value of £10 using a £50 note, which is legal tender, so it's been legally recognised as an acceptable form of payment by the government. And yet the shop lady initially took the £50 note off me, walked over to the till, then turned around and said, oh, sorry, we don't accept £50 notes anymore. And I said, well, why? I said, it's legal tender. She said, sorry, it's just company policy. Now, when you think about how ridiculous that is, she didn't even bother to check if she had enough change in the till. She didn't even check to see if the note was real or fake. Of course, the note was real, but she didn't even do any type of security checks or anything. She just said, oh, it's company policy not to accept the, the, the £50 note. Now, the reason why what the company has done by setting that policy is perfectly legal, but fundamentally immoral. And the reason why is because, and for what it's worth, the company was a massive multinational with thousands of chains in Britain and um, across the world, in America, etc. The company wasn't a small independent that didn't have enough chains to give me or can't afford to take the risks associated with processing 50 pound notes. But, but no, it was a massive multinational. And yet, in Britain, it is allowed to reject legal tender. Why is it allowed to reject legal tender? That's because Britain's definition of legal tender is not consistent with other parts of the globe that have a much fairer definition. In Britain, legal tender does not mean that all banknotes and money that is designated to be legal tender has to be mandatorily accepted for all types of financial obligations. It does not mean that. So when you go to pay for something, when you tender money, such as a £5 note or whatever, it is true that from a legal perspective in Britain, a shop could turn you down. They regularly turn down £50 notes and Scottish £20 notes. It's widespread. It, you know, sometimes you could we could walk into 10 shops and half of them would reject you for £50 notes and, and bars, etc., restaurants. It's completely commonplace. Now, in Europe, that doesn't happen because in Europe, it is illegal in retail transactions, instantaneous retail transactions. It is illegal to reject legal tender. So they cannot reject you for paying even in high denomination euros because in EU law, it states that there must be mandatory acceptance of legal tender. In Britain, we don't have that. We don't have mandatory acceptance of legal tender. Only in the case where there is an existing debt. And so what it means is someone could not sue you for non-payment of a debt if you offered to pay in legal tender, which is all Royal Mint coins and all Bank of England notes. Now, that, that's a more technical definition than the typical definition, which would be that the legal tender would have to be mandatorily accepted in all types of financial obligations, whether that's an instantaneous retail transaction or um, a debt such as a credit card debt or a car loan but in Britain, 
we don't have mandatory acceptance of cash for all types of payment obligations. So for retail transactions that are instantaneous, they can actually reject your legal tender, which is completely ridiculous, completely immoral, completely inefficient and completely wrong. The only exception in Europe where they are allowed to reject Euro cash would be if it violated the good faith principle of contract law, which means basically if the seller did not have enough change to give you back, then of course, if you was paying with a hundred euros or a 50 euro note and they didn't have enough change to give you, then that is reasonable that in that circumstance, they should be able to say, sorry, I can't accept that high denomination note. But in Britain, they're doing it left, right and center and are just setting it as a matter of company policy. That when it comes to security, it is true that all banknotes are forged. And of course, with the £50 note being the highest banknote in Britain, the risks are higher if a £50 banknote is forged compared to a £20 note, because of course it, it, it's two and a half times the value. But all the government should provide guidance on how to check if the notes are real and it should assist businesses with this fundamental aspect of you know trade and ultimately other countries get it right and i use the example of the european union because on this one issue yes they are correct in the way they do it it is correct to make it mandatory acceptance that is completely the right thing to do we need to change the law we need to change it so that it matches eu law on this but as you'll find in many aspects, Britain has these archaic and fundamentally wrong and fundamentally immoral laws that subsist that make us in many regards a, a legal and moral embarrassment. And I'm going to expand on this a lot, lot more because there's so many areas of law in Britain that is a complete disaster, especially property laws. But this is just another one of those elements where it it's so annoying. If you like my videos and you want to hear more about socialism, radical anti-capitalism and critical analysis of current events, please like, comment and subscribe. It helps to grow my channel. Thank you.